Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to answer your common questions about this DIY Mr. Cool heat pump. So here we go. My last video installing this DIY mini split heat pump received quite a few views and thank you everybody so much for that. It also received a lot of comments and questions. So I hope to address those in this video. The first mention is this coil of refrigerant line in the back. Now there's two issues with it. One, yes, it looks ugly, <laughs> which is why I kind of tucked it behind the unit. The second issue that was brought up is snowfall. I live in Massachusetts, which is in the northern part of the US, and we do get a lot of snow here. So before the snow falls in the winter, I plan to build a little lean-to over this unit, attached to the building, and then coming out just a little bit over it, and that will prevent any snow accumulation on the refrigerant lines that could weigh them down, which potentially could put stress on these fittings. The most common question I got was why I didn't vacuum these lines down. Now these have a very unique brass fitting on here that is completely sealed. You do not vacuum these and you do not cut them in the field. It's done at the factory and there's refrigerant inside this copper line from the factory with an end that's sealed that does not get opened until you fully tighten this down. There's also refrigerant stored inside the compressor unit. Now on the old unit, when you buy these, there's refrigerant in the compressor, but there's no refrigerant inside the copper line set. You take off the shelf lines and you create your own flare fitting. This is a flare fitting. And the installer is gonna cut this on site to make this a custom length. And they're going to install it on these flare fittings. These are brass. When they do that, look at this end. That's wide open. So that means air can get in there and air is gonna bring with it moisture. That moisture will turn to acid when it mixes with the refrigerant. That's why the installer puts a vacuum right here and they vacuum down this line which has moisture in it before releasing the refrigerant which is inside this outdoor unit. But these come pre-sealed with pre-charged refrigerant inside the line set. So there's no vacuum needed and no and the instructions tell you do not vacuum this. You also cannot cut these. That's why I have extra coil length here. This is you can't customize this length in the field. It's done at the factory. I hope that clears up the confusion on the refrigerant in the line set. Next, let's look at another question I was getting quite often. How many amps does this unit pull? I don't know, we're gonna put the amp meter on it and find out. But I do know that I've been running off grid for the last week with this on the inverters and it's been running great. All right, so we have 116.2 volts. And now let's go ahead and find out what our amp draw is. Here's the app for the Mr. Cool. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And we'll turn on heat to start with. And we'll go high fan speed. All right, so it should be turning on now. I just heard it click. See, so we're at 1.1, 1.2 amps. So we're starting to ramp up. And we can go ahead and double check our volts. 115. It's great that it's ramping up so slowly. Been running probably one minute now. Now it's terrific that there was no surge when you started. A lot of times a surge from a compressor unit will be very hard on an inverter. All right, we've been running pretty steady now, a little over 9.4 amps. Let's go ahead and check how many volts we're at. 114.4. Long term, I would love to put a meter on the circuit breaker for this unit and record how much power it uses uh, over the course of the summer and over the course of the winter. So I would love it if you guys could suggest a whole house uh, energy monitoring device. I'd like to put the clamps on the different circuits, uh, specifically a clamp here, along with a clamp for the different inverters and be able to monitor all that. But I really don't like having to send my data out to some other company and then read it on the web. I like to keep it all uh, local to the, the local area network. Uh, please leave the comment below uh, because I'd like to get one and be able to monitor this. 
and then be able to give you guys uh, updates. So thank you everybody very much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.